from the Change is Bad department. In this video, I'm telling anyone who wants to listen about the differences that matter to me between the Lenovo ThinkPad models W500 and W541. The first disappointment is that the W500 has 1200 lines of resolution, whereas the W541 only has full HD. The dedicated buttons for controlling volume are gone, and the indicator lights that let you know important things like that your battery was being charged, or your Wi-Fi radio is on, they're gone too. And the physical switch to turn off the wireless radio, it's gone, as well as the FireWire port, meaning I can't capture video from my FireWire camcorder anymore. All the keys have transformed into a sea of buttons. Are you a good button pusher? The navigation key group, this group of six keys, has been mutilated and bifurcated. It's nauseating how young people these days don't even know that back in 1987, IBM published the Common User Access Standard, which was widely adopted across many operating systems and still works across the various systems I do my work on today, unlike Apple's Command XCV nonsense. And the print screen key has been moved down next to the space bar, what the holy hell. And the scroll lock and pause keys are entirely gone because the folks who took the liberty of meddling with the keyboard decided those weren't important and I could just use F and key combinations. But the insanity of it all is that while they were removing legacy keys, they replaced them with useless crap. Two additional ways of launching Explorer, beyond the Windows key E shortcut we already have, just as the new lock key is redundant with the Windows key L shortcut we already have. So purely out of spite, I remapped their web browser home key to turn on the bubble machine screensaver. Because I didn't have a bacon screensaver, cause you know, push button to receive bacon would have been hilarious. Well. I would have found it hilarious.